Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Model Shipwrights, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got another uh, Super Drawings in 3D book from Kagero Publishing. Um, this one is on the Japanese battleship Congo, uh, and the uh, authors are Vladimir I'm gonna, Grolsky and Gregor Snowak. Yeah, this is uh, number 1605 in their numbering system. Um, I get it in these nice little uh, plastic uh, sleeves, and I thought this time I'd actually show you uh, how they come nicely, nicely wrapped and so forth. So, so in these books, obviously, are going to be CAD drawings. You can see that on the cover here is an excellent uh, CAD mock-up of the ship in a computer-aided design program. Um, on the back, we've got a back view of the ship. So. And uh, you can go to their website, www.kagero.poland.pl, uh, if you want to get more information or see who uh, might carry these books. Um, the book itself is, how many pages? 56 or so pages, 57, 58 pages, with some ads there on the back page. And uh, they've got, uh, as well as the interior, you've got like uh, these types of postery pullouts like this is a Japanese battleship Congo in 1 350th scale and you can see you know makes a nice wall poster if you want to use it for that as well as the reference but it's in scale to uh, any project ship that at least in 1 350th scale they might be working on and on the back side there is even some uh, diagonal uh, angled views of the ship and uh, again I really flip out when I look at these because they're just so well done I mean they look like they're right out of like special effects movie kind of uh, work, although they obviously would have more effects and things like weathering and uh, people walking around the decks and things like that. They should add that. They should add some people walking around the decks. That would be cool. <laughs> they're, they're like, no, 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 we're all about the, the detail, the, the actual size and shapes of things. And so it would still be cool. All right, so um, actually I play World of Warships. I kind of think it'd be cool if they had people walking around the decks or being washed overboard and stuff. That would be, that would be fun. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So here's another uh, line drawing sheet, and this one obviously again, 1 3 50th scale um, uh, profiles of the various uh, areas, and then slightly larger uh, shots of the superstructure, things like that. Basically anything you'd need to kind of see uh, areas of detail that might not be rep represented in a kit, uh, but it could be something you could scratch build perhaps or something like that. So, um, how, did I, how did I do this? And this one, go, uh, this one folds here, and then I, there we go. And then the last insert they have is another um, black and white line art. And again, this one has a lot of the superstructure details, the smokestacks, the uh, cutaway of the ship in diagonal, again, looking like it's in 1 3 50th scale. And uh, on the other side, again, more uh, detail there of the various um, superstructure bits and so forth. And then we'll get back to the regular book book. And I like to have the Congo in Japanese uh, uh, kanji. That's cool. All right, so um, basically there's no um, table of contents or anything. They just go into a design origins and construction text, uh, modernization. Uh, really, I wasn't aware the ship was made. Um, I thought it was made uh, around the time period. Obviously, if it was made earlier, uh, that's talking the, moder the modernization area here. So, I don't see any dates actually listed. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, it was laid down in 1911. Okay, so it is a is it a pre war? It's a it was a pre World War One dreadnought, and then modernized for World War Two. Interesting. All right. So, um, again, more information, side view, cut views, aircraft equipment, boats, operational history, bibliography, um, and then it goes into the actual CAD drawings, which do have like little little captions for each section here and, and lots of interesting angles I see in this one um, which is really cool they set up different ca camera angles on the CAD ship but just amazing levels of detail down to just the smallest little you know things when you they get into some of the later photos here like there's the, the anti-aircraft guns uh, smokestack detail there with the, uh, the the wiring or the tubing over them and so forth the the uh, aircraft uh, launch um, Wow, that's that's really cool. Anyways, uh, down to yeah, even the small boat uh, boats and things like that. And I've got the uh, side detail here with the life preservers. So yeah, um, lots of great photos in here. Obviously, or great uh, illustrations. 
search lights, things like that. So if you're looking for a book for real reference on at least a, just a level of like what would be on the ship if you're super detailing one of these and you really want a lot of uh, ideas for you know what's missing, uh, I think this book would obviously give you that. And uh, in addition to all the other illustration stuff that comes with it, you know, you're looking at quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff. So I'd like to thank the publisher for sending us this one. Actually, I think it was Casemate actually that sent us this. It would probably probably be a Kagero's urging, I would guess. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time on Turning the Page. And make sure to leave your comments and suggestions and feedback, like clicking like and so forth. We appreciate that. We'll see you next time on Turning the Page.